Schmo with the pro, with the former professional heavyweight boxer, the head trainer of Deontay Wilder, Malik Scott in the flesh. Just finished up the press conference. How we doing? It's good, man. Deontay, um, he's ready, more ready than ever. Um, he's firing on all cylinders in training camp. This has been the most open-minded open minded and receptiveness I've ever seen from him. And um, we're just ready to become two-time heavyweight champion of the world, man. The Schmo thought the original plan was for Deontay Wilder to not speak at this press conference. What changed? When did you know that the plans were going to change? Well, you just never know with Deontay, and it depends. Like, um, um, uh, he, he's so focused on the fight that I, I don't think, like, none of this stuff was planned. Like, you know what I mean? But you put him in a position, he's going to handle it. He handled it very well. He got under Fury's skin. And he didn't say too much, but he said enough. And um, But majority of his talking is going to be done October 9th, you know what I mean? Especially verbally after he become two-time heavyweight champion of the world. Listen, man, you have history with Shook Hill. You've been in the ring with Tyson Fury. Why is Deontay Wilder going to be different in this third fight? Everyone's counting him out, man. The Schmo sees the Instagram videos. He's benching a lot of pounds, maybe 350 plus, man. Why is this Deontay Wilder going to shock the world Saturday evening? Because this Deontay Wilder has never been this creative. He's never been this open-minded. He's never worked this hard. He's never been this understanding, which come with being receptive. And, um... Uh, uh, he really sacrificed a lot when it comes to this man. He gave up a lot. He not just physically invested his body into his craft, but he financially, you know, he put things together. You guys see us training up at his house a lot. This is what's him investing in himself. So it's, it, so there would be no excuses. If the man wasn't training, he was recovering. If he wasn't recovering, he was doing film study. If he wasn't doing film study, he was calling me, asking me, we should, we should do this, we should do that. Let's do you, what you think about adding on to this. So he's been in a creative mindset for the whole training camp. He's been open-minded the whole time. And um, I'm extremely proud of the of the leaps that he made. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it take a lot to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to make change for myself. Uh, most of us in the world, we point at everybody else and say, that person needs to do this and that person needs to do that. Deontay looked in the mirror and said, no, I'm going to change me. I'm going to make me better. And that's what he did. He got himself better. He's in the best shape of his life. We have an incredible team. Our nutritionist, Jackie, our doctor, I mean, um, that's the best Deontay. You guys never seen what you're about to see on Saturday night. Talk to me about Saturday night. Is he even coming out with a new body armor suit for the ring walk come Saturday yeah, evening? I would say he has a very sexy, very sexy, sexy um, outfit. And it's, I'm going to say this, it's, it's fitting for the occasion. It's fitting as far as how much it weighs. It's fitting for, for everything. You guys are going to really enjoy it. Um, it's warrior style. Um, it's a representation of his tribe. And um, it's a strong representation of the performance he's going to put on, too. So I'm excited about it as well. Are there a different set of eyeballs that are going to be on in the dressing room when they're wrapping hands before the fight? Are there any going to be different changes in that second fight? Uh, I believe. I believe. No, I don't believe. I know. Uh, we have people on standby. All T's are crossed and all I's are dotted. So that right there is the least of his worries and like I told him not just that is the least of his worries if he continue to create and continue to stay open-minded and work hard the way he's been doing and giving me in this training camp Tyson Fury will be the least of his problems he'll be undefeated for the rest of his career it's all up to him Saturday night how he want to make this. He can make this the easiest fight of his career, or he can make this the hardest fight of his career. Tyson Fury's just in the ring. He has no say-so when Deontay is on point like this. He's just a, a chump in the ring, and Deontay is going to close this chapter in grand fashion come October 9th. Final message for the Malik Scott fans out there worldwide. Appreciate all the support. Tune in October 9th. My brother, my fighter, Deontay Wilder is about to become two-time heavyweight champ of the world, and he'll never lose another fight again. Peace and love. He's the pro on the schmo. Just finished up the press conference. We're out.